In this video, we'll learn about uh, Python sets. So like list and tuples that we already covered in uh, previous tutorials, sets are also data structures uh, that are used to store uh, multiple variables or multiple data types or multiple items uh, under one variable. But unlike list and tuples, um, or maybe unlike list, I should say, uh, sets are not changeable. So you can't add or remove elements within sets. Uh, unlike list and tuples, there is no order with sets, so there's no indexing, meaning you cannot uh, access the set elements. And unlike list and unlike tuples, because tuples do allow duplicate values, but sets do not allow duplicate values. So those are the things to remember with, with sets. So let's dive into it a little bit more. So the syntax for, for sets um, is, you know, different elements within curly brackets. So for list is square brackets. For tuples is, um, you know, parentheses or round brackets. Um, but for sets is curly brackets. So I can have, you know, different elements here, just like uh, the other um, you know, data, data structures that we've talked about. So you can have, uh, you know, integers, strings, or a combination of any data type that you, that you want. So let's say, hello, Python, et cetera, et cetera. So if I run that, yeah. But if I want to create an empty set, like we've talked about, you know, we've seen that with empty list or an empty uh, tuple. But what's interesting about sets is that if you want to create an empty, empty set, you don't necessarily use the standard uh, brackets for empty sets. Uh, this is going to return a dictionary, which we haven't talked about yet. So if you run this, for example, this would be um, an empty an empty dictionary and if you want uh, if you want to know the uh, you know the type of uh, um, data that you just created you can use type function you know we've, we've, we've talked about this uh, multiple times so if I say type you know what's the S, what's the type of s1? You know, it tells you that it is a dictionary. So if you want to use an empty set, you have to use. So you would have to use uh, the set function here, like actual set function in order to create an empty set. So it's a little bit different from tuples and, and list here. So if I run that um, and if I run the type, it's going to tell me that, you know, this is a, a set uh, type of uh, data set, if you will, if that makes sense. So uh, to create an empty, just to kind of reiterate that, to create an empty set, you know, you can use uh, the set with uh, parentheses in there, not curly brackets, like the standard set, but a typical set, you know, not an empty set, but a typical set is, um, you know, curly brackets. And we can create another one here. Uh, you know, 8, 9. I don't know why I always start with 8, 9. Uh, 12, 99, 100. Uh, welcome. Uh, um, I'll use another number here just to be different. And I'll just use Eric. Okay. So this is another example of a set. Okay. So... The set function, um, you know, how you use the set function to create an empty list, you can also use a set function to convert um, a, a string to, to a set, for example, or convert a list to a set or convert a tuple to a set. So let's, you know, take some examples here. So let's say uh, you declare S2 as a set, for example, or we can use S1, doesn't really matter. So if I use a string, for example, um, 
let's say hello or yeah let's say yeah let's say hello so if I print S2 it's gonna print a uh, a set and you know there's no ordering with with sets as we've discussed um, in the introduction as well so if I wanna um, convert a tuple like we've discussed earlier uh, let's say uh, you know a tuple of uh, you know one four whatever five six so this is a tuple for example and if I run it you'll see that you know it's converted to with the curly brackets that is converted to a set so depending on you know different applications you can convert um, you know one uh, data type to another by using their respective uh, functions and we've seen that with tuples as well uh, I think it's called a constructor or, or whatever but yeah so this is the set constructor using you know used to convert one data type to another uh, similar to tuples as well. So uh, you've seen an example here where I've converted um, a string. This is just a regular string. I converted it to a set and you can tell um, by the curly brackets. And I've also used an example here where I've converted a tuple with the round brackets, remember, to, um, you know, to set uh, with the curly brackets. So uh, let's see here. So with sets, um, you can have uh, different, um, you know, different methods or different operations for sets. Um, so I don't want to go through each one of these because it's probably going to take too long. Uh, but you can kind of play around with it. Uh, we've we've talked about uh, a lot of these in. The list tutorial so you can go ahead and check that but uh, typically you just have to kind of play around with it a little bit on your own to see what uh, each method does but it's important to, to know that uh, with sets you can have um, you know multiple multiple uh, different um, you know methods or operators or whatever within you know within sets and you can play around with that So, for example, uh, some of it, some of it is is pretty uh, straightforward. But like, <clears throat> for example, um, union will return a new set with elements from from both sets. Like, if you have like an S one and an S two, it's going to return a new set with elements from both of those. Um, let's see here, intersection, for example. Uh, is going to return a new set containing elements that's common to both sets. Um, what else do we have here? Yeah, so you would just need to sort of, you know, pop and remove. We've seen that with list update. Um, you know, that's pretty self uh, self telling. So, so let's try with. Uh, with one of them so let's say um, you know you have s1 let's just use a very simple uh, one two three I just want to kind of run through some examples here just so uh, let me see um, three two or maybe two seven eight nine uh, and I say, you know, let's say uh, S1, uh, let's use difference. So difference is just going to return elements only in the first set that are, that are different, but not in the second set. So let's say S1 difference um, S2. Oh, I syntax issue here so what did that do so essentially um, so pretty much what that did was um, just return um, you know a set containing 
elements only in the first set. So this may not be a good example. So let's just kind of expand this uh, real quick here. 99. And let's rerun that. So this is almost saying S1 minus S2, but only returning uh, the elements from the first set. Okay. So if I do S2, um, difference uh, S1, and I run that, it's going to return the, the elements, but only in the second, you know, the difference, but only in the second set. So, uh, you know, it's, it could, it could be a little bit confusing, but, uh, in this case, just think of it this way, S1 dot difference S2 is almost saying S1 minus S2, but only returning the elements from the first set. And in this case, is S2 minus S1, but only returning the elements from S2. Okay, so here you have 3 and 2. So the difference here is 7, 8, and 1. So that's why it got you uh, 7881. And that's the same thing here too. It's only going to return the differences, but only from the first set, if that makes sense. But let me know if you have any questions in the in the comment sections. So yeah, so just play around with it a little bit with, uh, you know, the different operators. There's a few of them. I don't want to keep this, uh, this video too long than it already is. So just kind of play around with it a little bit and you'll see how some of these operators will work. So, uh, you know, let me know if you have any, any comments or any questions or anything that you need to clarify, and I'll be happy to, to help with that. So I think this is it for uh, tuples and sets. Uh, and again, we'll do more, more examples and more applications as we dive uh, deeper into uh, this Python core series. So uh, let me know if you have any, any feedback. Thank you.